Hello best friend and a welcome welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having the most incredible day. This is the first time you're watching my channel. My name is Sebastian and I welcome you guys with open arms. I do pop culture videos every day. So if you're looking for a new messy best friend, well girl you have found me. Ding dong bitch. Who is it? Your new messy best friend bitch. Let me in. So grab a snack and a drink. Hit that subscribe button. I would truly be grateful you guys. We gotta talk about Miss Taylor Swift because listen, she has every single person around the world rooting for her, super happy for her. But there are some people who believe that she is moving too fast and that he is really not that into her. And we gotta talk about that because listen, I am I am coming to you from a, I would say like a newborn Swifty. I'm really getting into Taylor Swift lately. Um, you know, as a as Team Selena all the way, I was like, I need to also like, you know, I love I love Taylor's hits, you know, like the hits, but I want to I want to be a, a deeper Swift, you know, I want to go in deep and I want to really hear like the ones that are not, you know, out. So that's what I've been doing lately, and you know, she's she's really honestly I amazing. Mean, she writes her own music, she writes her fucking songs, like she really is like actually a, 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 a amazing artist. Okay, bitch. Um, so her relationship with Travis. I mean, listen, he is a fond daddy, bitch. He is so fucking sexy, girl. I, oh, he's so, I mean, listen. I mean, listen, he's fucking sexy. So, anyways, girl. Um, so yesterday she was in Argentina, Argentina, and she, and of course you guys know Travis went to surprise her. And he was chilling with his father, da da da. And two huge things happened last night. So the first thing is that she changed her lyrics of, uh, in, from uh, lyrics to Karma, and she says Karma is the guy on the Chiefs coming straight home to me. Okay, and his reaction was amazing. I mean, it was it was such a beautiful moment. You know, here's the thing: Taylor Swift has this like uh, annoying reputation where like. She is seen as like this person who uses guys just to get content and stuff. But trust and believe that I, I, I could bet you money that if Taylor Swift was asked, what do you prefer, number one album or the love of your life? She's had number ones, girl. She's had it all. She wants love. You know, she's not thinking about material. I think she really wants love. And you can really see it in her, in her eyes how much she loves this guy uh, already. And then after the show, she um, he was waiting for her. So take a look at this clip and then we can talk. Best friend, it is 11-11, November 11. So we're gonna do some manifesting here, okay? Listen, Taylor Swift, girl, billionaire, biggest artist ever, you know, fucking winning everything. I mean, there's there's no more records she could beat. She's going to have to invent records so she can beat them, right? Girl, listen, anything is possible, okay? We got to, we gotta, if you want to manifest, girl, you got to put a picture of Taylor Swift somewhere, bitch. Listen, I'm I'm so serious too. It is November 11th, okay? It is 11, 11, 11, bitch. Because if you if you add 11 plus 11 and then you multiply, bitch, I don't know, but it's 11, 11, 11. Listen, we could too have our dream life, okay? So write down everything you are grateful for today that you already have and then do a list of things you are grateful that you want to manifest, but write it in present tense, you guys. And and also, I don't think it will hurt to fucking slap a picture of Taylor Swift on your damn wall, bitch. Ooh, can you imagine that freaking, I mean, the feeling she must get, girl, of a sellout fucking stadium tour worldwide and then jumping in the arms of fucking sexy tall glass of daddy travis okay damn so best friend girl get to manifesting get to manifesting today is 11 11 bitch and we're gonna have our dream life bitch okay damn he's fucking sexy can you imagine he's just waiting for you to get off stage so he oop you know what, girl? We got to go. Let's go do our manifesting, bitch. We are manifesting besties, okay? Let's do it. So, you guys, listen, right? Um, I see a lot of comments talking about, like, oh, my God, she's moving way too fast. You know, we've already talked about Selena and Gigi. But, um, like, body experts are, like, analyzing this, her her jumping into his arms. And he's kind of, he people are, you know, they're pointing out that he seems like he's pulling away. 
I don't know if we saw the same video, bitch. All I saw was a man who was so proud of his girl, who just got off performing in front of hundreds of thousands of people in Argentina, okay? Every single person they knew, every single song, she rocked it. She was so energetic, talented. She gave it her all. I saw a guy, a man who was proud. I saw a man who was very proud of his girl. That's what I saw, bitch. I Listen, I don't know what you guys saw. I don't know what the body languages people saw, bitch. But I saw somebody who was incredibly proud of their girl. Um, and it's so good to see Taylor Swift, you know, finding that love. And, you know, for those thinking she's moving on too fast or anything, I just have to say, you know what, you guys, and I don't know if it's because I just got back from church, so I'm feeling very like, you know, anything is possible. But like, I do think that, you know what, you gotta take chances in love. You gotta sometimes take the leap. And yes, you might get your heart broken, but also you might not. And what's better, to get your heart broken or to, re or to wonder what would have happened, you know, in this relationship. So I just honestly feel like, I feel like people should just let Taylor Swift live. I think that he is, in my opinion, I'm not a body language expert, but in my opinion, I feel like he is so proud of her. I see a lot of, you know, he's so proud. He's so uh, in awe of her. You know, that's what I see. I don't know what anyone else is see, but girl, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. I actually really do feel like they're going to last. It, it, I really do think that they're going to have babies. I think they're going to get married. You know, I really do see it with them. And I think, and the reason I see it, it's because of the way that he looks at her when he performs, the way that he's with her father, the way that he goes and waits for her so she can jump into his arms. You know, the way that he reacted when she changed the lyrics to Karma like that's what I see like I don't know what you guys actually see and I really would love to know in the comments and while I have you here and if you're a huge Swifty so I'm going album by album okay but what is like a good um like what order should I go in like I really want to know that like what order do you recommend me going um I'm very excited to join the Swifties because I have to say like I went to the movies uh, a couple days ago, no, like two weeks ago or something, and um, the Eras Tour movie was playing next door, and we went to see like the 30th anniversary of Hocus Pocus, and like I I I snuck into the theater to like see him, like it wasn't that like exciting as TikTok shows, but um because we were like sitting down or whatever, but I have to say that like. I felt this like, oh, I wish I had friends. And then I also wish that I could go and see so if, like the Eras tour with my friends because it just felt like such a fun time. It felt like, so, it looked like such a fun thing. So um, I'm, I'm tired of just knowing love story and I'm tired of just knowing, you know, shake it off and I, I, I'm, I'm digging deep. So let me know what how how I can go about that but I love you all very much thank you guys so much for watching let me know what you guys think do you think they're gonna make it do you think that they're gonna um what do you guys think I mean do you think they're gonna last forever I really do hope so and I really actually do think that they will because honestly I think that sometimes you gotta kiss a lot of frogs to get to your prince and and hopefully she's kissed many frogs and she looks so happy and honestly at the end of the day bitch if it does not work out, well, then everyone is right. Then she'll have fucking material for another album. I mean, it's a win-win situation, but I do hope that she is enjoying, that she's having fun, being respected, being valued, being, being, you know, just being herself. What better thing to be yourself in a relationship? So I love you all very much. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.